Don't let children watch this. That's what you get, Dick. You won't be needing this man. Take that. Whoa! What the fuck? Get him, cops! They're shooting me. Fuck! Take this blue car. Why are you not looking? Boom! Nothing to see over here. She says, "Fucking assholes." What is up, fart faces? Welcome to another Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Last time we finally finished with Catalina, so hopefully we don't hear from that bitch anymore. Came back over here to start yet another romance. But the phone's about to fucking ring. There it is. And this fucking block is taken over by the ballas. So let's uh, let's not answer the phone over here. run these fuckers over though and I do want to get far enough away to where they're not fucking attacking me constantly before I get out still right there fuck it let's do it here and answer the phone hello what's happening hey Carl dude now I got the little mom out you're after but be careful man People are listening to us. I got a little green village up in the hills. Come and get it. Oh, man, I don't know you. I don't know you. Prank caller, prank caller. <laughs> oh, God. See? Fuck it. I guess to see. Let's start yet another romance, because apparently Carl is a, is a fucking man whore. What's up, Romeo? Hey, pretty lady. Let's go eat someplace. Okay, let's move. Pick a place that your girl might like and take her there. Choose between fast food restaurant, bar, or diner, as indicated on the map. Yeah, let's uh, let's, go, let's, go. let's get in this car uh, because uh, they're chasing me. I'll just uh. <laughs> she has a fucking gun. There you go. I just don't talk shit like fucking Catalina. Um, I want to go. Oh, I want to go to the wine glass because that seems like it's more up, more up class. Because this lady is clearly very classy. Let's go here. I've known a lot of homeboys, Carl. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You trying to say you're a slut too? I like the Rockstar logo on the bottle. That was fine ass food. I ain't scared of you. Can you take me home now? I ain't got no respect, CJ. Yeah, go on. What? Um, I didn't read what that said, though. She wants to do a drive-by. This one's dangerous lady. This area seems to suit her. She seemed to have a good time, but she looks tired. You better take her home. What? Um, okay. Is it because I didn't do it? I didn't see that she wanted to do a drive-by. <laughs> Maybe that's why. She's not shooting now, yeah, she's not in the mood right, apparently. Oh well. We gonna hang out again soon, huh? Bye, girl. She'll be powerless to resist. <laughs> Progress. Cool. Um, okay, so I don't see anything there. 
to do, so let's move on to TT. See what TT is. I can't remember his name, so it's TT on the map. See you when I get there. Oh my god. Get out. Get the fuck out. He's just... Come on, please. Alright, so I'm about to do something dumb and continue on without saving because there's no close save point. But I did pick up some flowers on the side of the road for, uh, for my girlfriend. We'll see. Let's see how this goes. Are you going to San Fierro? Maybe. Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. Back there. Thanks, man. <laughs> Look, here go your paper. Ah, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. <laughs> what the fuck's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chopper. Yeah. Oh, man. Narks, you fucking rat. What? Dude, don't put that on me. You don't want to deal with Tim Penny. Yeah. What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Oh, man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. Oh my god, really? Okay, well... I'm get over there quicker. Since he's working that edge... Well, where is it? Smell good. <laughs> yeah, I should get these two. Burn, baby, burn. Why is there a cu Okay, he's just sitting there. Not like we're gonna get away with it. You can clearly record everything we're doing. <laughs> assholes! Right wing assholes! Oh, I don't feel too good. It's a crash. Yeah, game, you man. do. You're no, gonna feel I mean, great. I think I'm gonna black out. Fight the ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Go get it fired up. I've been burning. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna be fucking high as fuck and driving. <laughs> Watch. He's gonna make me drive. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, just the way that the fucking screen is. Waving around right now. It's doing a good job. You're making me feel woozy. Oh man, seriously. Get it all? Fuck. Go speak to the truth. We got a chopper on our tail. We'll never shake uh. it now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. Yeah? Holy motherfucker. Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale oh. of tie sticks. Shame, really. We're gonna make it into a lamp. Make it into a lamp. Take out the chopper. I can't fucking see the chopper. Fucking missed. Near 
you're targeting, press L and B to fire. Yeah, I know. Got it. I'm trying to catch up. Fucking high, too. Got him. Well, don't crash on the bus! Um, back up, buddy. Jeez. What the fuck? Alright. Am I driving? I'm driving! Well, of course. Okay, drive the mothership to the garage in San Piero. Okay, well, I need to fucking know where it's at. Because... Isn't that the other way? Dude, are you fucking kidding me? What you know. pull over for? You better drive. I haven't driven in 15 years. You was doing all right. Yeah, I I can't. I don't know where the fuck I sat. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Look at this bullshit. Oh my god. Okay. So I gotta get on this road. So go out and make a right. Yeah, then the fear hit me. Now I'm rolling a number to calm the waves. Calm. Shit, I better call Caesar. Hey, Caesar, no time to talk, man. I'm on my way to San Figuero, okay? I'll meet you and Kendall at that garage I wanted the races. Oh I'll my let y'all later. Please don't fucking flip. Don't fucking flip. Ugh. Hey. You want to hit on this? A little temple cherries and a cocktail with some Nepalese munga munga. Put that thing out, man. I can't see. No out, brother. It's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. Whoa. Chill the fuck oh. out. Firstly, you are a real buzz oh, killer, Amigo. And secondly, I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. And thirdly, we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fake. Yeah, you're an angry, angry, uh... Avoid, the man. fuck? Protection from Can't mind control, words. dude. Mind control. Induction of images. Okay, I think I should make a right here. Founder of motion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any Don't moment? Flip. No. 23. Do you know how many religious relics are kept at the Pentagon? No. 23. No. 23. You see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke out my face. Stoner! That is the word I was looking for, everybody. Stoner. He is an angry stoner. Jesus, we screwed. When'd you get this? 1967. How you get around if you don't drop? I have an astral goat called Herbie. She's faster than most. But getting old. Yeah, whatever, man. Astral you goat. Shit. Fuck you. Asshole. There she is, brother. San Piero, city of psychedelic wonders. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. There ain't a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Piero, where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Fierro, between Garcia and Easter Basin. Okay, how the fuck do I get over there? Is it a tunnel? Hey, this thing go any faster? Man, we got three tons of grass on board. The engine block is held together with a macrame hammock, and it's running on 15-year-old cooking oil. Shit. <laughs> Can you shoot? Shoot. I'm a hippie. The only thing I've shot is acid. I heard about this dude snorting it once. Thought his nose was a kangaroo and the moon was a dog. Woo! <laughs> nice. All right. This is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. Fucking past it. Whew. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do another one. Fuck it. See you in the next mission. So I just ran up the road to see if I could buy Wang Motors, but apparently I can't buy that yet, so. We'll just stay here. Let's see you. So, CJ. Wear flowers in your hair. So I'm a hippie now. Motherfucker! That mute asshole! That fucking snake without a tongue! 
gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip, I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Carl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? Yeah. My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work, this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh, that's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here, it's fantastic. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. <laughs> Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit, but the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. <laughs> Going to pick up Jethro! Why not? Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? I met them at the 89th Pierre Love Inn. Apparently. Apparently. You know how it is, man. Apparently. Field of tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. But they were funny guys, man. Great sense of humor. There goes my driving. Alright, let's slip around. Can't go further that way yet. Look at how long this game is. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Nang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. Yeah. Gangs. Hey, buddy. Caps lock. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man. We're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage in Doherty by the waste ground. You know, car mods, low riders, all that shit. You down? Do polar bears shit in the woods? No, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent, if I remember it right. Yeah, that was like, so far gone. Does a polar bear shit in the woods? He said. Oh yeah, driving skills. Woo! Running red lights right in front of a cop. No big deal. What are we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, Nothing. Oh, look, cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay. I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude. What's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark, kid. Okay, so I just pulled up to the hospital. 
and watched a van drive away. Okay. Hot dog van. Oh, can I drive that? Can I drive that? Caps lock. Dude, Dwayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Doherty. I'll see y'all later. He gets to drive it over land okay. posts. Okay, next stop, cop station I'm down. I'm gonna there. drive it over land what? posts. What? Watch your mind. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Yeah. Driving to a blue square. Okay. Okay. You know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. <laughs> Picture yes. a pink golf ball in your mind. Man again. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? <laughs> There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him dude? Don't go there, man. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in the Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro doc. Good. Keep it that way. Hookie dookie! Zero RC. Something I can buy? Whoa, buddy! Whoa! Hey there! What the fuck, asshole? No, you fucking go when you're ready, ass face dick muncher. Press caps lock. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive home, James. I recognize that voice. Carl, zero. it's hilarious. Zero, Carl. Sir. Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. See some of my shit, bro. Hey, we're in mobiles here. Um, do I have to get out? Okay, we here. Got it. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man, dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, <laughs> let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot. Property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look. I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> All right, I'm not liking these uh, no money when I fucking pass a mission, but I guess it's okay. All right, guys, it's going to bring us to the end of another episode. I'm going to actually hold on a couple seconds here because every fucking time... The phone rings. <laughs> Hello? 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 Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl, are you busy? Zero? Nah, man, good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. 
I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Oh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. So I'll probably go and buy his shop next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Peace. Hey, there's a sniper up here, and I'm gonna kill him with an exploded old camera. Oh, what is this? <laughs> is this like a purple weapon? Oh, God.